Hi guys, hope you are well. In this video I want to address an issue quite a few users seem to be experiencing lately, which is Final Cut Pro performing extremely poorly. We aren't 100% sure yet why this is happening, but we can tell that a combination of newer Macs running on Catalina and Final Cut version 10.4.10 seem to be affected. When I investigated this issue, I found that also other users with older versions running on Mojave seem to be affected, so this whole thing is very mysterious to us. So in case you do not experience the dreaded two to five second freeze while the CPU spikes up to over 100%, then you can consider yourself lucky. For everyone else, this tutorial, using the Brightly Explainer Toolkit as an example, will show you a way to overcome it. Note that not only Brightly is affected, but quite a few motion templates from other authors and marketplaces as well. Okay, let's get started. Basically, the issue seems to be related to the way you add elements above or below the primary timeline. In this case, here, where I'm placing a character reading a book onto the primary timeline and then add the environment below it, Shit hits the CPU fan. Then, when a character is already on the primary timeline and you start to preview environments inside the titles browser, you will get the freeze as well. What does not trigger the freeze is putting the environment onto the primary timeline first and then a character on top. But as soon as you add a third element, for example this animated alarm clock icon, the dreaded freeze will return. Okay, now here is the workaround. First, import a character and then turn it into a compound clip. Then customize the character inside the compound clip by double clicking it while not putting any other items inside this compound character clip. Now go back to the main project timeline and here you can put any item on top and attach it to the character clip and no Mac brain freeze will happen anymore. If you still encounter this issue or got a better solution, let me know in the comments below or email us via our website dp669.com and I will be there to help you. Cheers guys!